Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here and I'm in Chiang Mai, Thailand and there is a durian buffet on that's on for the next few days. It's been going on for a few days. If you don't know what durian is, it's the world's smelliest fruit, also known as the king of fruits. And yeah, this buffet, I am looking forward to. I didn't know it was going on. And as you see there, there is a sign for it. We are at a very busy junction, so sorry for any of that noise going on. And over there, look, there's a little mango steam that's known as the queen of fruits, that thing with the green bit on top and the purple round cannon looking ball. And then you can see there is durian which is known as the king of fruits with its crown on. Mangosteen is known as the queen of fruits which is a cooling fruit during it is the heat. Well, a fruit that heats you up. So yeah, let's go and check it out. And yeah, I actually have the two o'clock booking. I got here really early this morning and almost all the slots were booked up. I got the last spot. There's 30 people that can be in the durian buffet at specific time intervals. And I got a ticket, so that's really, really good. I had to get it quite early to do this. Durian is one of the most popular fruits in Asia. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this. And before I go into the buffet, I wanted to show you all the different fruits that are outside the buffet that are not part of the buffet at all. These are just loads of different fruit sellers with an abundance of amazing fruits. And as you saw then, you have red mangoes. These are called red Irwin mangoes. They are some of my favorite mangoes in the world. And you only see them when it's a fruit season. They look like Maha Chinook mangoes. And those red mangoes taste like peaches. They're so good. Young Thai coconuts, more red mangoes. I'm not sure the variety of those. I think they're actually R2E2 mangoes. Then you've got your pineapples, the durian as well, this is the Monton variety, it's the most widely sold variety in Thailand. Here's a variety of Ganyao durian and Monton. And then Mangosteen, the queen of fruits, which is so, so tasty. Really, really juicy on the inside, it's like white, watery segments. Then you've got Pomelo, I don't really like Pomelo, or it's like grapefruit. Then you've got your Namdai. Namdok Mai mangoes, which are the most highly sold mangoes in Thailand. And then some lovely, lovely pineapples. So yeah, we're gonna go and walk into the buffet now. There's fruit everywhere. Durian, pineapples, apples, mangoes, mango steam. Whoa, loads of durian there. Different types of melon. Jackfruit, which is the biggest fruit in the world. Then you've got all this cut up fruit in plastic. For it not in plastic, you might necessarily try that. And they also have ice cream. I doubt that is vegan though. Then all other random things, drinking water, light cheese juice, some other mandango juice, orange juice, pineapple juice, pepper juice in there. Durian! I did a quick voiceover because the music in the background will get me a copyright strike. This Thai girl was going, Durian, 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 she really wanted to show it, and that was really cool. And then there's a variety of jackfruit out of the shell, snake fruit, a variety of other different amazing fruits as well. So here's my first lot of durian. They didn't give me a lot, but most people don't eat a lot of durian because it's so filling. I put the calorie content here. It's really high. And I said nim nim soot, soot which means soft and right. Because a lot of people eat it when it's rock hard and like chalk and it tastes of nothing. So let's see how this is. Let me see. Look, that's how you want it. Soft and gooey. I'm sorry about any background noise. I've got aircon on. Mmm. Oh. Strong sulfur taste. And Monton has a sulfury taste, which is eggy. Creamy, sweet, succulent, mime lion. <sighs> to eat durian like this, I'd pay way more than what I'm paying now. I'll put the price of how much I paid in USD. It's like sweet cream. Mm. If you haven't tried durian, Go out of your way to get it. You can get it in a lot of like Europe, America, import. It obviously costs quite a lot more. And make sure when you try it that it's ripe and good quality. If it's ripe and of good quality, you don't like it, try another variety. A lot of people don't like this one because it's got that strong eggy taste, which some people say is like grilled peppers or onions. So it may not be appealing to you, but you can find other ones, like Ganya. A lot of people prefer Ganya. It hasn't got that strong smell. Mm. Yeah, Miss Knock was sharing this experience with me. Which doesn't like durian. And for me, it's a real thing that I'm so in love with. 
and I prefer to share my experience with your environment people. It's a very central experience. So yeah, it's going to be type of like mukbang vlogging style one. I hope you like it. But yeah, if you ever get an opportunity to go to a country where it grows, try it. As long as you keep your mind open, try a good one. Turn it in. It's one of those foods that I could just live off for months and nothing else. That's how good it is. Pretty bulky food because it's like so high in calorie. Very good essential fatty acid source. Also a healthy source of carbohydrates. Designed by nature for you. And man, it feels good to be back in Chiang Mai, Thailand. This is where I've lived most of the time in Thailand. It's a big city, but not as crazy as Bangkok, not as polluted. At least when it's not the burning season when they're burning all the crops. Mm. And yeah, I eat during quite quick. He doesn't eat food quite quick, but it's so good. Most people wear gloves because they don't want to get it all over their hands. They don't want the smell like the Chinese people normally do that. I'm the only Farang here, which means foreign Thai. The rest are all Chinese people. So let's go and get some more. I'm saying it's strange, this buffet's for an hour. It's fully booked out at 30 people, yet there's only two people here and two people downstairs. I don't know where everyone else is. Mmm. Wow. This one is more like... sweeter. Not sulfur, it's like a thick, sweet, dairy-filled cream. Yeah, it's dairy-free. Mmm. If anyone wondering how many calories I can be eating, I have no idea. But, I tell you, it can normally range anywhere from three to 5,000 calories. That's why it's perfect bulking food. It doesn't have a lot of protein though. That's all good. Mm. And yeah, Chiang Mai is one of the most popular destinations for people to travel to and say short term or long term that are digital nomads or people that are trying to pursue an entrepreneurial lifestyle online. Mm. A little bit underwrite that part, so I spell it out as hard. So it's one of the cheapest places to live in the world with some of the fastest internet. You can get apartments here basic studio apartments easily for like hundred dollars or less yeah that cheap and you can rent it month by month you don't need to put down hardly any deposit food so cheap there's so much going on so many different types of like money people for whatever you're into it First place I started out when came to change my tie down, well, Thailand specifically. So it's just dirt cheap. So if you're someone to pursue an online career, this can be a brilliant place to start out. Due to the expense being so low. Mm. I'm going to be a little bit silent because speaking the whole time while seating is a bit mm, not the best. Some of that's hard. See here, look, it doesn't really push in that much. It's really, really hard. Not fully ripe that part, so you won't be eating that part. There's some riper bits on it. Yeah, the bits that are not fully ripe are just really crunchy and hard. It's like, that's not ripe durian. That's what a lot of people get when they buy durian. Then they wonder why they don't like it. So if you have an underripe banana, it's hard, it's starchy. 
very hard to chew, very hard to digest, cause digestive issues. And it just doesn't have the full sweetness and flavour to it. So it's not a really joy of experience. Another two done. It's four done. Trays worth. Let's go get some more. I'm back, but where's the durian? Let's try a magic trick and make some appear, shall we? Da da! And they know that I like ripe stuff, so they keep pointing out the ripe ones, at least the ripest ones possible. And I say, if you're ever going to try durian, like I said, you want ripe, high quality one. Do your research up online. Look for people that really know what they're talking about with durian and how to pick a good one. If you can find some in the area you're in, we can help you pick one. That's the best to do. Because I've had those people that try durian, so they don't like it. And then I've given them some high quality durian, and they're like, wow! And they get hooked on it, which can be a dangerous thing because it can end up costing you quite a lot of money to have that type of food addiction. Mmm, <laughs> mm. ah. What happens is, I found like in Malaysia and other places I go to when I start eating a lot of durian consistently, when I then go and eat cooked food, cooked food is just not appealing to me at all because durian is so flavorful mm. another chewy part it's just so amazing when you cook food it's like meh so I live, it's, if I lived in a place like Indonesia where you can get cheap durian all the time I pretty much live off of durian, literally. I've done it in times in Malaysia where I fast for 24, 25 hours, just eat one meal of durian at a durian buffet, and do that for days in a row. I had some friends that were pretty much eating only durian for six months. But, you wanna make sure you're working out quite a bit. So you're getting that amount of calories, if you can eat a lot of durian, you're gonna get a lot of calories. Could make you gain excess body fat. And that's why quite a few Asians are concerned about eating a lot of durian. Because that make you gain weight. But a lot of them will say that already have excess body fat. It's not due to them eating durian, it's due to them eating loads of westernised junk food. Mm. This is giving you way more calories than your body's burning. And then they're eating multiple meals a day. Obviously, you know, I'm into intermittent fasting, great weight loss tool. If you want to learn about how to do intermittent fasting, serious weight loss, I'll put a link for the video up above. Mm. and not long before I broke my fast with two organic matcha green tea protein shakes vegan they gave me 32 grams of protein normally when I come and eat during I don't eat at all but I found that I needed to break my fast earlier before coming here mm. so I probably don't have to eat as much as I normally could eat. In comparison, when I do a long fast and then eat And if anyone wonders if I'm overeating at any point, no. If I overeat, I will feel like garbage afterwards. My energy levels will drop massively for the rest of the day. Next to early in the day, I don't want that to happen. Mm. Always obviously make sure your hands are clean before picking your hands with durian, picking it up. That's obviously very obvious. A man, you cannot have the most fullest, best durian experience if you're not wearing, well, if you're wearing gloves. It's just not the right, right thing to be doing, in my personal opinion. And if you actually get the shell to do it, if your hands are smelly, fill it up with water and then wipe your hands all on the inside of the durian smell and it actually helps get the smell off your hands. I learned that from someone who's a fruit lover many, many years ago. So, six trays done. Next up, more, 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 more. So this time it's a different person picking it for me. I said they didn't even soup, soup. But looking at it, some of it's soft, some of it's not. But it doesn't matter. I just eat the soft parts and then the rest I'll just leave it. That's absolutely fine. And then I will go down and get some more. And what they do is they put loads out and then they're opening more and more and more durian. So at the moment it's not loads out, there's loads behind the counter. And once she puts it all out on display then I can pick the really bright ones. 
because different people's perspective on what's really right and not is completely different when you're in. Man, not once we'd eat dinner out in about another four hours or so. We'll see what happens to that. Because <laughs> this is insane thing. And what you'll find me doing is the riper and the higher quality, the more calorie dense it is. So the less you'll be able to eat. And yeah, what's your favourite fruit that you have tried? Let me know down below. And is there any fruit that you're aware of that you would like to try? I'm not just a durian lover, I'm a fruit lover as a whole. We as human beings are naturally drawn to sweet stuff for a reason. Not to have sugary refined foods most of the time, it's okay to indulge here and there, but we are designed for fruit. And I found when I'm eating a lot of fruit, my desire just vanishes for processed sweet foods. Yeah, I used to eat a raw vegan diet for around two years, it was predominantly fruit. Mm. Okay, me and like Gandhi, I'm starting to get like butter with my belly. <laughs> Show you what my belly's doing. Yeah, breathe while. Yeah, I'm cleaning off my hands each time because it's just an absolute mess. And I keep having to turn off the camera when I go down for more. And my camera's already covered in and I don't need more. Uh, yeah, if you haven't already, click at, check out this company that I work with. It's the cleanest fitness nutritional supplements in the world. Nothing toxic added to them. I use them myself. Links down below with 20-30% coupon in case you're interested in them as well. They can help optimize sports performance. Sports recovery time will be reduced. Help you get greater weight loss benefits, maximize muscle growth and other things as well. And yeah, my belly, that's what it's looking like at the moment. I'm not bending out to stick it out either. Yeah, you still see the abs. Not very clearly because the light is so bad. But yeah, time for some more. And I'm sure not much more. When I went down, I saw other people looking at all the fruit that's on display that isn't behind the counter that they're giving to people. And I was like, Are these durians included? Like, nah, not all. Because they have some Ganya varieties, some Chani, I think, maybe some Kradon Dong. And they definitely cost way more for them to buy than this Monzon. So yeah, it's not included. I wish it was, but. Mm. This is a keto person's worst nightmare. So many carbs. Man, I'm gonna die from it, I'm gonna gain so much weight. Not. <laughs> I don't fear carbs. I was showing people that had amazing weight loss results of eating carbs, especially when combined with either a 16 8 intermittent fast and diet. We fast for around 16 hours and eat for around an 8 hour window for one meal a day. I've been eating carbs, well, a specific high carb vegan diet for over five years now, and I am as lean as anything. Can you see? Very, very lean. And no, I don't work out though. I normally work out about three hours a week. I've done ever since I got into resistance training, more specifically calisthenics known as bodyweight training. The year before him, me and Nock went to an outdoor calisthenics park, filmed a video, teach people how to progress towards dips. She worked out a bit. I was helping her progress towards dips, she did some squats and some various other things as well. And before we went out, we've been sitting in for hours and hours and hours. We both didn't start to feel that good emotionally, physically. Then we got out 
moved our bodies around a bit. We also taught, taught knock that attitude of gratitude. So we sat there here, in silence, five minutes, our eyes were closed, saying, I am grateful to be alive, I'm grateful to be me. Like just saying everything you're grateful for. Even if you have nothing, you have any, something to be grateful for. You're grateful to be alive, to be born, to be in this physical reality, to be able to breathe, to be able to walk. If you can walk, obviously, if you haven't got legs and you can't. When I was teaching this and doing it with us to shift with her, to shift her state of mind, and then for a minute after that, we set a timer, five minutes doing that attitude of gratitude, and they said, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Felt it, did the visualization really, eyes closed. And after that, whoa, we felt so alive, and Nock was blown away by it. So now we're gonna start doing it in the morning, when we wake up, and when we go to bed. Even when I go back to Copenhagen, because so I go back in a few days, she's gonna go back to Pi. And yeah, I'm about, 80% at my capacity, 90%. Let's see if they've got any more ripe stuff, because a lot of the stuff I just saw was not ripe at all. Oh yeah, and about that attitude of gratitude thing, if you'd like me to make a video on it, and how you can instantly feel so happy, not just think that you're happy, but feel you're happy, because so many people just try and think themselves into a positive state where they feel really amazing, but if you do not change how you feel emotionally, it's not gonna shift mentally, but if you make yourself feel good emotionally, your thoughts are gonna become more positive at the same time. So this is win-win. Yeah, I could make a video on that. If you're interested in that, let me know down below. I'll make it for you as soon as possible. Mm. And if you'd like me to make any videos at all on anything that may interest you, I know about so many different things, so many different things that I've never even talked about in this channel. Like how to become a successful YouTuber, how to live in Thailand, how to create the life of your dreams, how to rid yourself of sickness and disease. How to pick right type of what you're doing. And let's check the timer. Only about 35 hours. 35 hours worth, 35 hours, I'd explode by now. I was eating doing for that long. 35 minutes. And now, these five, last few bites I'm having, I'm hitting that wall. For example, my belly's pretty much saying no now. I feel it really expanding a lot then. Mm. Turning into Java Hut as we speak. Definitely not the point of overeating, but I'm pretty much almost there. It's a fine line. <laughs> Man, it's raining outside. Bad up indoors. Box at the shopping mall just across the road, Man Mall. Not sure what she does, so she's gonna do some things in there. She can't be in here because she didn't pay for the buffet, they won't let you hurry. Yeah, it's nice. We've been around each other a lot. So this is actually a nice little breather away from each other. Nothing bad is going on. Everything's going really good. I'm really happy about being around her. Same for her. Having a lot of quality time together. I'm really enjoying it. I'm really appreciating it. Very grateful for it. But yeah, when you're around someone loads, whoever it is, at some point you're going to feel you need a little bit of time on your own. So this is this bit of time for ourselves. So some breathing space. And then when I go back to her, I'm going to feel really satiated from this doing she's gonna feel very satiated from whatever she's been doing and then we can appreciate even more being with each child so yeah I'm gonna have a little breather and see if I can eat some more during I might need to burp a bit just rest a little bit and then push on forward more but we shall see hmm. you may be wondering why is there no during here well what I tell you is I waited a little while and I feel fuller so my body has now really registered all the food it's gone into the stomach. I'm not gonna eat more. I could eat more, but I'm gonna be pushing past my limit and then I'm gonna feel like absolute garbage for the rest of the day where I just wanna sleep and rest and the light is not going very well there. 
So yeah, I was just quickly watching a YouTube video and I'm gonna leave, there's 10 minutes left, but I don't need to stay. So I'm gonna to go to Man War and find Nox. So if you have any questions about anything I talked about in this video or about Durium or anything else, leave them down below. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you don't give us a thumbs down, please share some others. And don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button, otherwise YouTube will not notify you of when those new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming almost every single day. So as always, stay fit. Stay energetic and go and get those gains. Peace.